I'm just doing a fascia cleaning job today. Um, I'm going to show you a little technique or method of how I clean fascias and guttering. I'm using my carbon fibre pole for this. No gooseneck. I'm just using it straight. I like to use this Unger square brush. Really like the long bristles. It's great for getting in all the gaps and crevices all around the guttering and fascia. Um, with the fan jets as well, which I really like for cleaning away all the muck. So yeah, I'm going to show you how we do it. So I start generally on the front face of the guttering, similar to what you would with a window. Um, so you effectively start from the top working down and underneath. Craig's already been along and sprayed it with our UPVC cleaner. So it's already been treated. So then by the time I get to the guttering, what I'll do first of all is just spray um, the guttering with a mist to wet it before I start scrubbing. So I'll work a section at a time um, and I'll just show you how I clean this section here. So I'll start by scrubbing along the length of the guttering on the top. Good not to forget that top edge. You can get some green algae developing along that edge there. Now I work along working around the brackets. First of all going in one direction I'll work two or three clips at a time, a section like that, and then I'll turn the brush around and work in the other direction. Make sure the bristles get into all the, the gaps and corners. Then I'll work on the underside of the guttering, again being sure to work the bristles around the clips, um, working in both directions, getting the bristles to go right under the back edge of the guttering, which you'll notice from the ground you'll be able to see them from underneath. fascia boarding I'll concentrate on the fascia boarding again making sure I get the bristles right underneath between the guttering and the fascia board um, working those bristles right up behind the clips working them around the clips then I'll scrub the underside of the fascia board being sure to get the bristles into the vents, cleaning out all the muck from under the vents. Finally, not to forget, um, is giving all the guttering a good rinse down, making sure there's no dirty drips left behind because they could dry to leave um, mucky spots. So we want to make sure we give all the guttering a good rinse after we're done. And that should leave the guttering and fascias sparkling clean, um, looking fantastic. What we usually do when we do a fascia clean is we'll also do the windows, tie it in with a window clean. The brushes, when you're doing the fascia clean, can pick up a lot of dirt, cobwebs and muck actually on the brush. So if you're then going to clean the windows, it's a good idea to kind of check the brush, maybe clean off any um, dirt and cobwebs that might be on it. Um, usually what we do is we keep square brushes exclusively for fascia cleaning. I usually prefer to use um, a round head brush for window cleaning, so I'll even swap the brush over and come back and do the windows afterwards. So it's just a, um, something to bear in mind. But I hope you found that little, uh, some of those tips are helpful. And uh, check out plenty more on my channel and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching.